in this world, there is a new beginning, a new story to be told. Throughout this land, there is a lonely human with only a shirt and pants. There's a cave with mysterious oars to be mined, and a lake to be swam in, and trees to climb. Animals who roam the land, and plants growing tall. This is the new beginning of mankind. In this new beginning, the human finds melons growing. He breaks them to find delicious fruits. He goes to the trees and breaks them and finds precious wood to be used. He makes planks of the wood and then makes a table for building. He works and works and realizes wood is the key to surviving. He tastes the delicious melon. He finds sticks on the ground and decides to put them with his wood and leaves. He makes a tool and starts mining away at the stones. He picks up stones off the ground. When night falls, quickly the human will hide in the cave because it does not yet have a home. When the morning finally comes, the human rises. It finds string along the ground, picking it up along the way. It must have been spiders, he thought. And then he begins to think. He knows what he's gonna do. He goes over to his table, crafting. He uses the stone that he grabbed earlier and connects his leftover sticks to create a stronger pickaxe. His old one could not break the pressed minerals. His new one could finally break them and use them. As he broke them, he thought of what he could do with this. He didn't know. Maybe have to put it in his table. But that did nothing. Then he thought of it. He would have to make it get hot. He knew exactly what to do. He gathered more stone right away. Once he had enough, he began forging in his table of crafting. And he created a furnace. This furnace would be used to burn his items. But what would he burn? And how would he do it? He tried his stones, but they didn't work. But he put in his old wooden pickaxe and it began to light up with flames. That went out. Only one piece he was able to make. What could he have used instead? He thought of it. He used wood to make his pickaxe. He could use the wood he gathered. 
He put half of his wood in and waited, hoping. And then, soon, he had his iron. He didn't know what first to do with it. Maybe he should connect it with something. But before he did that, he needed food. His melons were doing good, but they weren't fully filling him up. And then he thought of it. There's things swimming around in this water. If I could just use something to catch them, like a uh, pole with bait. Wait. I found string earlier, he thought. And then he got it. He rod of fishing. Then he searched around everywhere, looking for something to use his bait. And he found it. Some worms. He instantly threw them in and waited. Just waited. nothing. His bait wasn't working. Then he looked up into the trees. He should build a home. He needed somewhere to rest. Maybe he could build a cloth with all the string he found. And then he worked on his table. He worked and worked and worked. And then finally, he created a cloth to lie down on. He laid it down on the ground. Six months after the beginning, when we started, six months later, there's a house in the trees, sturdy enough to live on, with cloth made of the string, a wooden bed, it is cloth blankets, two of his furnaces to forge all of his materials. He caught many fish down at the pond, and up top is his table for crafting. Now, after he has built all of this, he knows that now he has done everything he needs to survive. Over time, the human got bored, so he decided to build things, like a net and a ball. He calls this sport netball. In netball, you kick the ball into the net and you score points and you start over. You hit the corner up top, you get two points. Same for that corner. But anywhere down here, it's just one point. Sleeping silently as the sun sets. This is a civilization. In this civilization, there are sports, food and water systems, dwelling, and also, there's survival. 
over time, this human has found food, shelter, water, many other things, entertainment. This is an example of civilization. Thank you for watching.